Okay, so no B-roll in this one, guys. Just straight numbers and charts. You know the deal. Yes, Samsung's back at it again. Firmware limiting their TVs and starting off with a 100% window. Taking a look at the S95C on the latest firmware, I did get 256 nits in that 100% window. And then after making some modifications in the service menu, I got up to 294 nits, which by the way, I will not be showing you how to modify the service menu this time around as you'll have to figure that out yourself if you want to void your warranty and potentially damage your display. But if you do, yes, it can get much, much brighter. Now, taking a look at the 10% window, here you can see by default, it got 1,358 nits. And then after the modification, it got 1,371 nits. But as you're gonna see in just a second, the 1% window is where things really change. Now, I wanna let you guys know real quick, this is actually with contrast enhancer off, static tone mapping, and warm to for the color tone. So this is closer to a 6,500K white point. And even then the default brightness was hitting up to 1,211 nits in that 1% window, but a staggering 2,073 nits if you make those service menu modifications. So as Samsung Display told us earlier this year, they definitely were not lying when they said that they were able to hit over 2,000 nits. I measured it myself and yes, they definitely can actually achieve over 2000 nits. Now, unfortunately, my model seems to be having some issues and it was having issues before I made any changes. So I can't tell you whether or not making changes will cause issues or not because I was already getting issues with my display blanking out. However, as you can see, yes, it can get much, much brighter. And guys, over 2000 nits on an OLED is very, very impressive and does make for some incredible looking scenes. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the peak brightness in Battlefield 1. Well, by default, I measured a peak of 1,248 nits. And then actually after the modifications, I measured a peak brightness of 1,732 nits when I was measuring the sun. So I wanted to bring you guys this content real quick before I put up the full review, which do make sure you're subscribed so you can see that as I will be taking a look at not only the brightness, but the contrast and the color and everything in between in my full review. However, for now, here's a little taste of just how powerful the S95C is or can be after a little bit of tweaking. But there you have it. Yes, Samsung probably does have potentially, I haven't had my hands on the G3 yet, but potentially one of the brightest OLED displays ever made that I've seen thus far. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their RuPro AK HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable, available in sizes ranging from 3 to 165 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K at 60 FPS or 4K at 120 FPS HDR10 video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports eARC. So, if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.